Seems we have nothing but dark skies to greet us as we reach the throne room for Hyrule Castle for our final confrontation. Hey everyone, this is Hirotano Mai 2011. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. After we got through Hyrule Castle, we're now at the very top. We're ready to face whatever heads towards us. We already know what's waiting for us, but we have no idea how powerful Ganondorf is. We're just going to have to see if we can beat him. So, with everything ready, especially after that room that we just entered that was basically a refill of everything in the game, let's go take down Ganondorf. This is Ganon's puppet Zelda. Yeah, we are actually fighting Princess Zelda as one of the final bosses. This final boss has a few phases and a few attacks that are pretty deadly, but if you played every other Ganondorf fight in the entire Zelda series, it's pretty self-explanatory that you have to play tennis with him. The only thing is that's weird about this one is that all you have to do is hit the ball back at him, 
because you don't have to do anything after. It's kind of weird. He has two more attacks afterwards, which I believe he's doing those now. One of those is he charges right at you, but it's pretty easy to avoid so long as you uh, dodge roll out of the way. And the other attack, if you can show it, Gandorf, um, looks like he's not showing it. Oh, well. The other attack he does is basically, um, if you ever see Young Link's finisher in Hyrule Warriors, that. I don't know if there's a name for it, but yeah, he pretty much summons the Triforce of Wisdom to come and absorb you. And if you're in it, yeah, you're going to get hit by signifying him laughing and everything. But this boss fight's actually pretty easy, and by God, this music. I've stated before that I love the Hyrule Castle music, and I love the soundtrack of this game in general, but this evil remix of oh there's the attack yeah all you have to do is roll out of it and it's pretty easy to avoid but this evil remix of zelda's theme oh my god i love it so much the fact how creepy it sounds how cool it sounds as a final boss theme and by the way zelda in this game is basically peach from smash 4 because you can't see up her dress for all you perverts who tried even though if you look up her dress in brawl and smash 4 she's wearing stockings so nothing really big but I believe this is the final hit, so we just have to knock the ball back in him and... Or fail doing it! Okay, excuse me, that took that climacticness out of this fight. But yeah, um, not gonna lie, I actually really like the design of um, Zel uh, Ganon's puppet Zelda. Just because, well, I know it's basically just Gandor possessing Zelda's body, and but just like the way her skin is with those lines and like the yellow eyes and everything. Yeah, she's up there with... She's up there with... Um, Evil Peach, Shadow Queen Peach from Paper, Paper Mario 2 is one of my favorite, like, uh, evil designs for characters. And that's it. And you thought we go this whole game without getting a fight with Beast Ganon. Well, this fight's actually pretty easy. All you gotta... Ow. Or fail to do so. Excuse me for that. Um, normally, I don't mess up that early in this fight. All you gotta do for this fight is wait for Ganondorf to ram you. And... Remember your training from catching the Ordon Goats and the Gorons. And toss him aside. The only difference on this fight is the fact you have to use Wolf Link to um, do this with him. Here's the thing with this fight, though. After you toss him down too, because he's Ganondorf, and it'd be pretty pointless if we did this throughout the whole game. Um, you can only hurt you can only hurt him if you have um, the Master Sword out. Wolf Link is not able to hurt Ganondorf at all, and oh god, he actually did the other attack that I was waiting for. My bad. So uh, yeah, that's one of the things you have to look out for. But how? I keep getting hit by this boss. I'm sorry. I usually don't mess up this badly. But the alternative way of hitting him is using an arrow, but I don't suggest that because as you saw, I kept getting owned there. So um, what you have to do basically is wait for him to go into the void. And by the way, I love the way that the music segues into Gandorf's theme, and I love this version of Beast Gandorf's theme. I love it so much. So you just got to wait for the portal of twilight that's going to turn blue, and that's the one he's going to pop out of, which is that one. You lock on to him, and again, remember your goat training, and just toss him to the side. Um... After a while, the bow and arrow trick will not work with him, so that's why I tend to do this fight as a wolf. But like I said, the only thing that hurts him is the Master Sword. So you just keep slicing away at him and...
I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within the range of my arrows. Similar to Wind Waker, you no longer have control of your arrows. Well, you do, but you don't have any, um, you can't really do much with it. So, all you gotta do is keep locked on to Ganondorf and make sure that Zelda is in range to hit him. All you have to do is make sure that she can hit him and then charge after the guy and then just keep whacking at him as much as you can. As you saw, Minna was not able to defeat Gandorf, and most likely she was eliminated by him. So, it's up to us to take him down. This fight is pretty self-explanatory, but he can summon ghost soldiers after you, so be careful of that. I believe the maximum times you have to hit him is 5, but don't quote me on that. But, we go over and hit him one more time, and...
Mr. Gan, won't have a repair. You've got to rebuild space. Up for a good horse? <laughs> and that's it. With Minna returned to her true form, that's the end of Twilight Princess. My final thoughts on this series? Well, as my first Let's Play, I struggled a lot with it, honestly, and you guys know firsthand because, you know, my upload schedule with this was absolutely abysmal because this is just something I did in my spare time, and I didn't think to, you know, maintenance it and all that. So, overall, I just ended up... This LP ended up taking up three years. Hell, the three-year anniversary was like a month ago of this LP just because I only uploaded, um, like, you know once or like twice or three times a month but overall about this game this is still my favorite 3d zelda game i don't know if i said this enough it's not only is it beautiful well for the time it still is beautiful for the most part and i really am looking forward to when um twilight princess hd but i still love the story i still love its characters it does have problems where it has a lot of padding and a lot of unnecessary stuff in the game and I really, really wish that this game had an orchestrated soundtrack. And that's what I'm really hoping with, with the HD version, that all this problem that I have with it gets fixed. Because if it is, then this game will still remain my favorite 3D Zelda. No 3D Zelda has topped this game for me. Not even Skyward Sword, not Majora's Mask 3D, nothing. This is still my absolute favorite game. And I remember when my friend Brandon said that he hates this game, saying that there's nothing good in it. And I just question why. And I never get a straight answer for him for why it, he doesn't think it's good. But overall, if you don't like this game, it's fine. I don't plan on changing your opinion with this game. But I'm really glad that we're finally done with this series. Just because I enjoy this game so much. And I really hope you guys enjoyed me playing through it. Especially since I pretty much showed you a complete guide on what to do in this game. And overall, I gotta say, this ending still makes me tear up. This ending's especially long, so I think I'll just leave it to this. Thank you so much for joining me with my very first Let's Play, and now that it's finally over, 
I hope you'll stay for a bit more for the bonus episodes that are coming up. We have about three of them, similar to Sonic Adventure DX, but I'll announce this now. My next Let's Play, which I'm going to start right away to make up for the fact that I um, kept you guys waiting with this one, is actually Klonoa. I'm starring the first Klonoa on Wii as my next Let's Play, so I hope to see you guys then. Until next time, we saved Hyrule, guys. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you then.
Ha <laughs> ha! 